Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today I'll be viewing this wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch. It's to compete with the Pro Controller. The brand name is Aleper, and it costs just under $20. I bought this a few weeks ago, and let's take a look at the user manual here. Now the reason I got this rather than another Pro Controller is because the Pro Controller is about $60 and it rarely ever goes on sale. If you want to read any part in more detail, feel free to pause the video. Now, the screenshots they provided is perhaps good intentions but poorly executed because the screenshots are just too small. There's turbo function, there is vibration, and that's a bit. The rest is just different language. It also came with a USB Type C charging cable. One end male USB Type C, other end USB Type A. Now, it's the box that came in. The same instructions we saw in the user manual is also in this box. Size wise, it's very similar to the Pro Controller. My kids still prefer to use a Pro Controller. Um, this one, it's not bad. Mainly I use it, not the kids. And I think one of the reasons they don't like it as much is I want to show the arch. See the arch over here? It's not as prevalent as the arch over here. I also mentioned that my kids are young. A nine-year-old and a seven-year-old. Maybe if I had teenagers, they would not mind. In terms of weight, the Pro Control is heavier than this controller. With this one, the balance is not bad. It's not like it's too heavy in the front or, or back. It's, um, I'll say it's pretty well balanced. Here's a closer view. The thumbsticks, the D-pad. The D-pad, I actually don't like that. It's not as protruding that far above the, the plastic shell. For example, here's a Pro Controller. I'm more used to deep having this. Another thing is, uh, here's the Selects, Start, Turbo. I don't really use the Turbo that much. It, the option is there, but I just don't use it that much. The Home button and the Screenshot button. I don't know why they didn't just put turbo right in the middle. The reason I say that is because on the standard Pro Controller, the home is on the right-hand side, and the screenshot is on the left-hand side. And the, it's just that, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Here's another look at the, the Pro Controller. The button's are okay. It's definitely not sensitive. It requires more force to press down on these buttons than on a, a Pro Controller. On this side, we have the trigger buttons. They're fine. We have the USB Type-C port. Information printed on the bottom of it. And as for the texture of the grip, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's, it's definitely non-slip. The Pro Controller one, these are a lot more smooth than these textured grips. Earlier I showed the pairing instructions from the user manual and the document instructions are just not practical because the screenshots were way too small. To pair this, make sure it's not in airplane mode. Bluetooth would need to be turned on to pair. I'm going to enter the controller settings here. On this unit, I'm just going to press the home button for five seconds. Now it's not under fine controllers. When I paired it, I want to change the grip order then I press the LR button and saw how it got assigned to number one. Now it's paired. Let me head to smash. Let me just pick one of the I'll pick one of my other titles. This is able to wake the switch up in sleep mode. So tap the home button once. The controller will vibrate a little bit once it's paired. 
And now I can enter the switch. Now, the rumble is okay. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just okay. The battery life, on the other hand, can't really compare with the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller I can get easily 35 to 40 hours. Whereas with this unit, it's anywhere from 8 to 10 hours. Earlier I mentioned that the ABXY buttons were a bit stiff. I put up with it, my kids, they don't like it. The trigger buttons on top, they're fine. The thumbsticks, they're okay. The D-pad on the other hand, this is a problem. They're just not that comfortable. And they sink in too much. When I'm pressing down on it, see how it sinks in? When I press down on the Pro Controller, it doesn't really sink in that much. I bought this is because whenever I play Smash or Pokemon Tournament with my kids, we're all arguing who's going to use the Pro Controller. Because by far the Pro Controller is most comfortable. And I hate playing fighting games on this. It's not practical. It costs only a third of what the Pro Controller cost. But for me, at least, yeah, don't re I do not like the build quality. Well, I hope you found this video useful. This was the... A Lupper Wireless Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Bye.